Hi, I'm Ludovic Arnaud. I'm the scientific officer in charge of nano two hybrids in Namur. I'm also working on another EU project called iControl, on which I have the same tasks as on uh, nano two hybrids. Let's start with a few words from my private life. I'm not married, but I have a partner, Magali, and we have two kids. Our daughter, Justine, is six years old, and our son, Baptiste, is four. Magali is also a scientist. She is working at Jean Blou Agricultural University, not far from, uh, from our place. We live in Sombref. Sombref is a small village and we are renovating an old farm from the 19th century. But contrary to other members of this uh, project, we are not doing everything ourselves and uh, we do not have any donkeys, sheep or chickens. But of course, our kids would like to have some, as well as some cows, horses, giraffes and uh, elephants, I think. But uh, still we are thinking of having a guinea pig or a, sh a fish. What about my background? Contrary to the other partners of this consortium, I do not have a background in physics, chemistry, electronics or computer science, but I am an engineer in agricultural sciences and I specialized in plant protection, especially on insect control. After my degree, I did a PhD at Jean Blou Agricultural University in Belgium. During this PhD, I studied the impact of insecticide resistance genes on the reproductive biology of some beetles. After this PhD, I had a postdoc position in the same university and I studied chemical communications on the same insect. During this postdoc, I spent one year at Lund University in Sweden. After this uh, postdoc, I came back to Belgium and I had the other postdoc's position. One dealing with the biocontrol of aphids in Hawkats and the other with the in vitro culture of rosemary. So already no more entomology. As you can see, I do not have any experience in material science. But fortunately for me and for the project, I do not have to perform any experiments. My job is to help Professor Pirou in the coordination and the management of the project. For example, we have to help in the organization of our consortium meetings. These meetings take place every six months in one uh, of the partners' institutions. The last meeting was held in Saint-Sautran. Saint-Sautran is the company of our SME partner, Marc Delgado and it's close to Barcelona in Spain. The next meeting will be held in um, Nantes, in France, uh, where Chris and uh, Irene are working. Following the meetings, we have to prepare some important documents. First, we have to write up the reports of the meeting and the partners, they have to prepare the deliverables. Deliverables are documents in which uh, the partners, they have to summarize the main results they obtained during the last six months of the project, the results they have, uh, the experiments they have been doing in their labs or the calculation the theoreticians have been doing. They also have to report on the problem they have been faced with and on the solution they found to solve those problems. Then I have to collect all the deliverables and then to send them in due time to our project officer in uh, Brussels. Last week, we finished the preparation of our report from the meeting in Barcelona and also of the deliverable that were due at month 6. And I must say that everything went very well and that the partners collaborated very efficiently in the preparation of this report. They have been sent to the Commission last week and they are also available on the private part of our website. Apart from the preparation of meetings, reports and deliverables, I have to get in touch with the different partners in order to help them with any administrative stuff. And also I have to spread any important information relative to the project to any members of the consortium. Also, I am participating to two committees. The first one is the Integration and Visibility Committee. The aim of this committee is to promote the science of nanomaterials to, to the public. The second committee is the Health and Safety Committee. The Health and Safety Committee is in charge of being aware of any uh, new 
information relative to the uh, safety risk of the use of nanomaterials. Well, I think that um, for the moment that's all and I will get back to you as soon as uh, new uh, very important uh, work are on the way. Bye bye. Hello, it's me again. I forgot to, to show you my office. So this is basically where I'm spending all of my day working on the Nano2 and high control project. And now I will show you the rest of the office with the with where my colleagues are working. So here you have Pierre Paul. He's, he's a student working on the project high control with Bastien. Here it's uh, Karim working on the plasma. Here it's Nicola working on polymer. He is a PhD student. Here is Roumen, a postdoc from Bulgaria. This guy, you know, it's uh, Alex, the scientist, new doctor, working on uh, nano two hybrids. And the last one is Bastien working on the project eye control. As you can see, they are everyone is in the lab at the moment doing experiments.